Well in this video we're going to connect the um, Roland to the Syntact. Uh, I'm going to show you how to connect them together through the MIDI cables, through the audio cables. I had to buy a couple of different cables but they weren't very expensive and um, when I've connected them and wired it all up you can hear the end result. They work per in perfect harmony as far as syncing together, BPN changes and when you consider that's £750 and that's £155 say it's a great addition to this because this I see as a primarily a drum machine and this is a synthesizer but in this demonstration we've got them to work and we've got the correct cables and they work great and I like this one just from the fact it's mobile as well so you can take it anywhere you want. The first thing you need to do is to plug the audio in which is a headphone socket um, in this case um, to the both quarter end sockets into the Syntact. So you're going to actually send audio from the um, Roland S1 into the Syntact and then that can combo, then that can actually combine both audios. But at this stage, uh, the midis are not synced at all. They'll, they'll both play at different BPMs and you can see the um, inputs on the Syntact just red into the uh, one socket um, and then white into the socket. So quite simple. It's a cable I bought off um, Amazon uh, and it seems to work absolutely fine. So that's basically the first, that's getting the audio going from the uh, Roland S1. So you've got audio from Roland into the Syntact. And then it's the completely the opposite, um, you know, with MIDI. You're going to send MIDI signals from the Syntact um, into the Roland. On the top there you can see just two, um, you know, in and out so it's you want actually mid it in if the camera don't blow it's up all you can see it now just plug it into there that's a cable again i bought off um amazon you know that's cheap enough to buy and uh, that converts you know the single pin um trs cable to a nice standard midi cable end and that's going to go into the out don't plug it in like i did because nothing will happen so that's going to go out because you can send midi from the syntact MIDI signals right into the Roland uh, and then you're going to do a bit of a small software setup. I guess it's pretty standard for most MIDI MIDI uh, devices but on the Syntact and the Roland you've got one device uh, that's just come out possibly six months ago and one that's uh, been out uh, two or three years. So there you go so you've got the cables in the right place. The only other cables on the Syntact are ones to my powered speakers. I've also got a USB cable in there into my machine but that's just um, so I can actually record any sound if I want to. So there you go, you've got the cable set up, hopefully um, that wasn't too complicated. Uh, just remember um, just remember which way around they go. The thing about the Roland S1, it's so small, it's easy to move about, it's great. And it's very light as well. So what we're going to do now is we're going to power up the machines and um, we're then going to start the software setup. There's no software setup to do on to go on the Roland S1 at all. It's all automatic, uh, and it's just a display you're looking for. So on here, first of all, let's just set the uh, Syntac up, and there we go. We're just looking at the LFO page. I must have left it on the LFO page for some reason. And uh, you can press play. Most important thing: switch the Roland on first. That's not such a bad idea. So I know you can't hear it at this stage, but this, at this stage, sound will be going in, um, you know, to the syntax. We just need to be able to get sound out. So let's go into the setup. And um, I'm sure you can see on the screen now, you can see the MIDI config going to sync. And what you do here, you've got three settings to set. You're going to send um, the clock send, program change send, and the transport send over to the Roland S1. It doesn't need all those, but I always click the three signals because you're gonna send all the MIDI over to the Roland S1 so that it can be at the same BPM. Then you go into channels, uh, you know, a MIDI config. And what I do here is I actually reserve a channel in here, channel 12 uh, to the MIDI signal number three. The MIDI signal number three comes out of the Roland just, just for safety reasons, or just in case I want it there. But I do it because sometimes the syntax can be a little bit complex to set up. And then all you do then is you go into uh, the rest of the of the ones below the uh, their auto channel, program channel, and program channel in and out, all on three. So you've actually got all the software. So just just take a note of those settings from twelve, um, 
auto channel, program channel change, etc. All set on three because that's the MIDI signal um, and the MIDI channel that uh, the Roland S1 works to. And then you're going to have a connection. You can have a great connection there. So when you press the uh, play button, you can notice the uh, green light comes on on the Roland S1, which means you've made a MIDI connection, audio connection, and you can see the Roland itself just has four dashes there. One step uh, that's very important that you must do on the Syntact is make sure you go into the sound settings, the internal sound settings, and the internal sound settings are, uh, are obtained by pressing the function button and the left hole button three times, and on the left hand side you'll see left and right in, and you turn it up full. So that's pressing on the function button and the LFO button three times, and that allows the Syntax to uh, accept the volume, um, you know, from the Roland S1. I'll just give a, a brief demonstration now of the um, of the connection, speeding up both are speeding up together. Doesn't sound too fantastic because it's just a native sound on the Roland S1, but you can hear them speeding up. See that the uh, BPM is going 225 now. And you can hear the Roland S1 uh, is also speaking at the same time. So they're perfectly synced in time. You, you can have sound out of the syntax, you can have sound out of the Roland playing together. So what the way I see it is that you actually have the syntax as a drum machine and the Roland as a major synth that's playing any sound you can create. We'll just change one more sound. Not, not the loudest, let's do it. As, as, as. So you've now got a nice beachy sound on the um, pen. And then you've got, you can see it's synced perfectly. And there, uh, it's all set, perfect done. Well, hopefully you enjoyed the video, uh, and please subscribe for more. Thank you.